This is just a quick overview of the crew and Mitchells. The next time we come back here, we will be doing the story from their opposition's perspective while elaborating a little more on Mitchells. Anyway, the United States Attorney, the Commissioner of the New York City Police Department, an acting special agent in charge of Homeland Security investigations, announced charges against 10 alleged members of a street gang known as ABG, in the Bronx, New York. Duman, Leaky, Taco, Smula, Saint, Eli, Oj, X, Gunplay, and Cash, all of whom are members of ABG, were charged in a superseding indictment with racketeering conspiracy, drug trafficking, and firearms offenses. Duman, Leaky, Smula, Saint, Eli, OJ, X, and Gunplay were also charged with engaging in violent crimes in aid of racketeering. Duman and Leaky are additionally charged with aiding and abetting murder in the Bronx. Duman, Eli, Smula, X, and Cash were already in custody in connection with charges contained in a previous indictment related to this prosecution. Smula and Gunplay are in federal custody in connection with charges filed in other prosecutions. Saint and Taco in state custody and will be transferred into federal custody. Leakey was arrested in the Bronx not too long before this video dropped. From at least in or about 2017 to in or about the present, ABG was a criminal enterprise entered in the Bronx, New York. ABG primarily operated in the vicinity of the Mitchell Houses in the vicinity of 135th and 138th Streets, and Lincoln and Willis Avenues. Don't get the 2017 part messed up, as we know Mitchell has been active long before this, and that this story is just dealing with a younger generation of guys. If you want some background on this area, check out our last Mitchell Houses story. ABG stands for All Bout WAP, and most are a part of the Rolling 60s Crips. They are affiliated with Kirtland Avenue, the OGs, or whatever. In order to make money for the gang, protect the gang's territory, and promote the gang's standing, members of ABG engaged in, among other things, narcotics trafficking and violence, including murder. To that end, ABG members sold crack cocaine and marijuana, promoted their gang affiliation on social media, possessed firearms, and engaged in shootings as part of their gang membership in narcotics trafficking. For years, ABG engaged in disputes with rival crews in the Bronx, which resulted in numerous acts of violence. They have had long-lasting beef with the guys from the Westchester Avenue projects, and also, a well-known beef with Batances. All defendants named in the superseding indictment participated in a conspiracy with other individuals to distribute more than 280 grams of crack cocaine, from at least in or about 2017 up to and including the present. The defendants also possessed, used, brandished, and discharged firearms in furtherance of the narcotics conspiracy in which they all participated. Cops would arrest two Bronx teens from Mitchells for the shooting death of a young gang member. The victim's mom worried that her family may be in the crosshairs of the alleged killer's accomplices. On February 14, Valentine's Day of 2019, Leakey, 19 at the time and Taco, 17 at the time, were charged with the murder of 19-year-old Darren Scruggs. The murder occurred about a week prior on February 8. Police were initially looking for four suspects after Scruggs was repeatedly shot in the back at 1.25 p.m. outside a pizza shop near East 156th Street and Westchester Avenue. There had been threats that they're going to come for his sisters, Scruggs' mother told the Daily News. She believed Scruggs' friend set him up to be killed. We will talk more about this in the next video. Another member of the gang, Eli, also allegedly shot and killed a person in 2019, with help from fellow crew member Smula. In addition, Eli, shot at rival gang members on October 30, 2018, and committed another shooting on August 21, 2021, with assistance from Smula. Separately, Smula carried out a shooting on March 25, 2022, during which he struck a victim. OJ also carried out a different shooting on October 28, 2021, and Duman committed a shooting on November 7, 2021, with assistance from gunplay. Several other members of the gang are charged with various murders. We will also elaborate on this later on. ABG's rivalries also resulted in multiple slashings. For example, on May 8, 2020, Gunplay, Eli, and XB10 slashed a victim. Then on February 20, 2021, Leakey slashed a victim across the face at the direction of Saint. Let's talk a little bit more about Duman though. On January 9, 2016, Duman, who was then 19 years old, attended a party in the Bronx. A fight broke out at the party, which resulted in Duman, quite smartly, deciding to leave the party. 
As Du Man was leaving, the fight moved outside, and a number of partygoers elected to stay and watch. A gun or guns were fired, causing Du Man and others to run away in fear of their safety. Police officers ran in the direction of people whom they believed to have been involved in the fight and or to have fired a gun during the fight. It turns out, Du Man happened to be running in the same direction as another person running from the fight, Chris, who in fact possessed a gun. Chris and police engaged in a shootout. During the course of the chase and shooting, a police officer was shot in the foot. Chris was eventually caught after a chase and charged with various crimes and convicted. As Du Man was running, another police officer commanded him to stop and get down. Du Man complied. He approached Du Man and asked him to move to a nearby grassy area where a gun was lying on the ground. Du Man said it was not his gun. However, the cop, believing the gun belonged to Du Man and had possibly been the source of his fellow cop's gunshot wound, arrested Du Man. The cop completed a police report stating that he saw Du Man with a gun, and then hand off the gun to another person who threw the gun in the grass and ran away. Another police officer also participated in filing a report against Du Man. The other person who the cop said threw the gun in the grass was never apprehended. The cop repeated his report to the district attorney and then to a grand jury, which indicted Du Man. He also testified in court against Du Man. It further turned out that Stewart was shot by a fellow police officer, and that there was no physical evidence, such as DNA or fingerprints, connecting Du Man to the gun. Du Man maintained his innocence throughout, voluntarily testified on his own behalf before the grand jury, and ultimately was acquitted by a jury. Du Man was detained for approximately 61 days in jail while awaiting trial. Let's talk a little bit more about X. There was X's participation in a slashing in May 2020. X's past sales of crack cocaine to an undercover, his possession of a firearm in August 2021. X was arrested in possession of crack cocaine less than one week after being charged by state prosecutors with possession of a firearm and crack cocaine. There were various social media posts created after X's detention on September 8, 2021. There was a jail call from March 9, 2020, in which X and fellow gang member, Taco, discuss X arranging to have an individual bring a knife into Rikers Island, where Taco was detained. Knives or razors were referred to as cabs or ubers. They discussed how it would be transferred, black tape, a holster, you know the lingo, if you know you know. Anyway, on or about September 2, 2021, a confidential source, with whom a law enforcement has spoken to on at least 10 other occasions, called with info. CS1 saw X carrying a firearm in X's right pocket. X was located, among other places, in the vicinity of the Mitchell houses in the Bronx. Shortly after speaking with CS1, on or about September 2, 2021, the agent contacted a police officer with the NYPD, Officer 1, and told Officer 1, CS1 has prior state convictions for robbery and narcotics offenses, among other crimes. CS1 is providing information to law enforcement in the hopes of receiving financial compensation. The information provided by CS1 on other occasions has been deemed reliable and has been corroborated by other evidence, including information provided by another witness. Officer 1 confirmed that he was familiar with X from his work with the NYPD. Officer 1 and another officer went to the vicinity of the Mitchell houses in order to locate X. While there, X was observed walking down a sidewalk in the Mitchell houses. Officer 1 and Officer 2 approached X in order to conduct a frisk of X for any weapons. Officer 2 patted down X's front right pants pocket and removed a firearm that was loaded with seven rounds of ammunition. He was also found with 35 clear bags of what appeared to be crack cocaine. On May 19, 2021, one man was killed and another was hospitalized in a shooting late night by the Mitch. The two victims were walking out from the deli on Willis and East 137 streets when a car drove by and started firing at around 11.30 p.m. The suspect got out of the vehicle and chased the victims while continuing to fire his gun. The two victims managed to run toward a NYPD post. 24-year-old Bosca was shot multiple times and had been pronounced dead. A 20-year-old victim was shot in the leg but did not cooperate with investigators. Bosca, I believe, is OJ's brother. OJ is an ABG member that we spoke of earlier. While law enforcement's investigation is ongoing, OJ is believed to have been involved in two shootings on October 28, 2021, which took place minutes apart from one another and in the territories of ABG's rivals. 
Specifically, surveillance footage shows that one of the shooters was wearing distinctive sneakers, which appear to be the same sneakers that OJ was recorded on surveillance footage wearing earlier that day. Law enforcement has identified other evidence connecting ABG to these shootings. For example, ballistics analysis confirmed that shell casings from the shootings were from the same gun that was used to commit a shooting approximately a week later, for which fellow ABG member, Leakey, has been arrested and charged. Finally, the same type of car that was used in the October 28 shootings parked in the parking lot of the Mitchell Housing Project where ABG is based about two hours after the shootings. The NYPD thereafter placed a boot on the wheel of the car and an ABG member called about getting the boot removed. OJ has two prior arrests involving crack cocaine, further evidencing that drug dealing appears to have been his sole occupation for years. On January 12, 2020, OJ was in a car with co-defendants Leakey and X and two other individuals, parked in the vicinity of where the defendants are known to sell crack cocaine. Inside the car, law enforcement found a tray with crack and powder cocaine in bags indicative of distribution. Over a year and a half later, OJ was still dealing crack cocaine in the same area, as further evidenced by his arrest on September 29, 2021, wherein law enforcement observed him engage in a hand-to-hand -hand drug deal. Law enforcement stopped the individual with whom OJ made the sale and recovered crack cocaine and heroin. OJ was then arrested and found to be in possession of approximately $1,159. Records relating to this arrest are attached as Exhibit C, and OJ was also on recorded jail calls in August and September 2021, talking with other ABG members about bagging up drugs and selling crack cocaine. OJ also texted co-defendant X in September 2021, telling X to come down with it and bring the scale, further evidencing their involvement in narcotics distribution. The evidence of OJ's own gun possession is clear as OJ exchanged text messages with another ABG member about accessing a gun. Specifically, on November 22, 2022, an ABG member texted OJ to go get it and come to the spot. OJ responded 8. The ABG member then asked, which female dog is it, to which OJ responded, 357, referring to a firearm. OJ further aided and abetted his co-defendant's gun possession, in connection with their collective crack dealing, as he sold crack alongside co-defendants, who publicly posted photographs of themselves with guns onto social media sites. In the early morning hours of January 12, 2022, law enforcement went to the last known address for OJ, but he was not there. Subsequently, OJ learned that he had an outstanding arrest warrant and posted to his public Instagram story on January 14, 2022, claiming that he was turning himself in. Two days later, OJ and Leakey turned themselves in together at a local police precinct. Cash is another member too. On January 14, 2020, Cash was arrested while in the driver's seat of a parked car with three others, including co-defendant and fellow ABG member Eli. Eli might need his own story, but he will be a part of the next one. Anyway, Cash had 39 bags of crack cocaine on him, and approximately 29 more bags of crack cocaine were obtained from others who were inside Cash's car. Approximately four months later, an undercover officer with the NYPD, the UC, who purchased crack cocaine from several of Cash's co-defendants, contacted X about purchasing crack cocaine. X instructed the UC to contact Cash, which the UC did. Thereafter, the UC arranged a controlled purchase directly from Cash for substances that were later tested and tested positive for crack cocaine. The controlled purchase was video recorded. The following year, on June 10, 2021, Cash was arrested while in the driver's seat of a vehicle, which contained vials of crack and bags of powder cocaine. Cash was a regular participant in armed crack dealing carried out by ABG. On the afternoon of January 13, 2022, the detective went to a location where Cash and other members of his gang are known to sell crack cocaine. After arriving, the detective observed a car associated with Cash. The driver of the car, later identified as Cash, drove away after appearing to notice the detective, and the detective followed him. Cash drove into Manhattan and ran several red lights, ostensibly trying to avoid the detective and the arrest warrant he was well aware of, until the detective was able to secure backup, activate emergency police sirens and cut Cash's car off, finally forcing Cash to stop. Cash was placed under arrest. Law enforcement recovered a scale inside the car Cash was driving consistent with narcotics distribution. 
On January 14, 2022, Cash was presented before the Honorable Barbara Moses and arraigned on the superseding indictment. As we stated earlier, this is just an overview of the crew. Soon, we will spin back around. We may wait a while so we can do the whole Batanza's involvement. But this about wraps it up and as always, stay low and thanks for watching.